Hi guys, I'm going to show you how to override the equals method in your structure or class. My current object is a struct and it has three properties, x, y, and z, and we're going to use the equals method to compare these vertexes for equality. In the equals method, it compares the current object to an object passed in through parameters. Your IDE will tell you that you should define the get hash code method or override it when you're defining an equals method. And in our case, this is not necessary because we are not going to have our objects placed in a hash table or a dictionary or anything like that. The test for equality will work properly in the uh, way that we are going to use it. So of course the equals method is going to return bool whether or not it's equal or not and um, it's going to be public. Okay, and the first thing that you should do is with your value types you want to use the is keyword to see if the current object is the same type as the object passed in. So right now I'm using vertex as my type and that's what the type should be. If it's not the proper type, return false because it's not equal to the current object, of course. If you're using a reference type, try to use the as keyword to avoid double casting. Okay, so now that we know that our type is valid, on the next line down, we want to cast the object to a vertex object so that we can easily test for equality. Okay, so down below here, I'm simply testing each property that's significant in the um, the object. It's a kind of a personal preference with larger, more complex objects, what you want to compare. But for the vertex object here, it's very obvious what I want to compare. I just want to compare all the fields because they're all very significant. So I'm assigning it to a bool. So is x equal is equal to v1 dot x, which is the object passed in through parameters to the current object. So dot equals this dot x. And uh, so I'm passing in the current vertex x value to the um, equals method of this integer here. So for the object to be equal, all of these values must be true, or all of these bools defined. So x is equal, z is equal, and y is equal. And if they are, then return true, otherwise it's going to be false. Okay, let's go over to our form one and take a look at how the equal method performs. So, right now I'm comparing vertex one to vertex two and then just converting it to string and displaying it on the text property of my form. So vertex one is equal to vertex two. So they're all, they all have the uh, two, three, four, x, y, z value. Very good, true it is. And everything else should be equal to false. So I'm gonna pass in the stopwatch and this should return false and not bug out. Okay, very good. And that's it for the equals method. See you later.